Hi. I got an electric shock trying to set up the recording today. Anyway, here's 60 parsecs, since you guys asked for it. I didn't know there were game stuff in space. Yes. <laughs> 60 parsecs! Aha! Pick an ast astro citizen get it. Uh, I mean, both of them look like nervous wrecks. But I don't know why I have a soft spot for the name Emmett. I like the name Emmett. I'm going with Emmett. Alright. Alert! Nuclear apocalypse imminent. Executing Order 1961. New protocol initiated. Commence Astro Citizen Emergency Drill and brace for nuclear impact. <gasps> I need my keyboard for just this moment. Shit. I just realized. Okay. There's a poster of a dog. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, okay, right. I need to pick stuff up. I was in, right? right, right. Grab some soup. Ah. Oh my gosh, he looks like a bitch. <laughs> That's the one thing I had to say about it. There's a lady with her arm stuck? Oh no, she's just stuck with her tool. Right. It doesn't seem like 60 seconds though, because I'm like, you know, I've been spending more than 60 seconds at this point, I think. Oh, it's giving me a tutorial. All right, so technically I have time to explore. Hi, Didi. You look like you're not doing well. All right, see ya. Oh my god, I want bucket leg. I want to bring bucket leg onto the ship. Alright, then we know. Bucket leg is on our list of people to bring. Anyone else I should bring onto the ship? Nope. It's okay, so bucket leg, I kinda want the bitch, because I bet she could be funny. <laughs> and uh I don't know, I feel like I feel like this person's gonna be useful. I mean she's fixing stuff, right? Right, alright, I think it starts the second I put down this soup can, so I'm just gonna find some medical So, Oh no! Oh! No! It's just giving me straight up time to pick stuff up for my first time. Okay, sure. I mean, I don't mind. Find the handbook. Handbook? Where the heck is a handbook? <laughs> there's a shovel. I might need the shovel. I want that cow statue though. Right, uh, oh, there's a handbook. To the shuttle, back to the escape shuttle. Okay. Find some crafting resources. Oh my lord. Put them in your escape shuttle. Okay. Find a crewmate. Uh, I want bucket. Where's bucket leg? Bucket leg, come in. <laughs> Help them down the hatch. You got it. Bucket leg. Alert. Uh oh. Incoming missile detected. High risk of impact. Grab whatever who and whoever you can. You got 60 seconds. I got it. Okay. I I grabbed her, I grabbed a sock, I grabbed soup. Okay, go, 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 okay, now it actually became 60 seconds. Okay, what's this game? We have to do Okay, go, 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 okay. Soup, some supplies, more soup. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Cow statue, I want the cow statue. I want you, 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 come here. Okay, I can't grab anything else. To the shuttle. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what else can I get? What else can I get? Uh, 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 okay, I can grab that. I can grab this. Oh, go on there, and there's a shovel. I want the shovel. Shovel seems useful. Shovel seems useful. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, shovel got him. Anything else I can get? One more can of soup. One more can of soup. Come on. Grab it. It was a miss. Destruction delayed. Escape shuttle will not. S what? What? Alert! I incoming missile detected. High risk of impact. Are you kidding me? Grab whatever you can and find a shuttle. Oh my lord! Are you kidding me? You got sixty seconds. Okay. Uh, a phone. Okay, the phone could be good. I guess. Did I lose two crewmates? Oh, I. It took away everything from it. Are you kidding me? Okay. Grab her. Grab a sock. Grab some. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. Go, 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 go,
Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Just run! Run, Emmett! Run! Run for your life! <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay. And the battery. Battery's over here. Battery's over here. Battery's over here. Come on, come on, come on. That seems important in some way! Run, Emmett! Soup. Ah! Okay. I'm safe. I'm safe! <laughs> I left Didi to die, <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. I saved everyone else, and I have Emmett. Lighter, come on, Astro Citizen, light the galaxy. Well, isn't that lovely? Right. Day one. Aha! We all look fine, especially Bucketfoot over there. Tom Thompson, April Angel, Megan Mann, and Emmett Ellis. Oh, oh, only only Emma is resourceful apparently, but I didn't f see any water. That's the thing that I'm slightly concerned about. Oh, hey, Astro, computerized assistant, reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I am pleased to announce that due to your actions during the escape, you are the perfect candidate to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen program, please accept our apologies for the tiny inconvenience of being blown 60 parsecs away from Earth. First order of business, find a safe place to land, and then try to contact the outside world. Please turn on the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rational protocol and feed your crew. Good luck! You are going to need it, Captain. Okay, so where's the computer? There it is. Captain! Since you have just taken command, the protocol dictates a speech must be given. A good one. Scratch that. A great one. <laughs> Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. This is it. You can really show what breed of Captain will you be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Uh, Captain's attribute ag agility flexible. Captain's attribute, attribute, intelligence, brilliant. Captain's attribute, strength, wimpy. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I guess intelligence has the most lines, so I would assume that's the best choice, right? Ah, right, and then I push these to end the day, right? Ah, that's how I do it. All right, got it. I'm understanding the, the things of this game. All right. <laughs> you knew exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worth as a captain of the last human crew in the universe. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished with the speech. Long live the captain, filled the cabin. Ha ha ha. That's a spy computer laugh. Ha ha ha. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, that would be it. One thing is for sure. You are ready for any challenge this galaxy throws at you. Okay. Oh! Captain's goals. Make five successful intelligent attribute decisions. Current goals. Find an appropriate landing spot. Ah, Emmett! Hello! Hello. I'm not gonna read about you or you or you. <laughs> so, but either way, I bet y'all are lovely. Right! Wonderful. Uh, everyone still looks pretty fine. Tom Thompson is staring at me a lot, I think. There's a connection there, you know? <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's, he's giving himself a medal of soup. <laughs> Alright. Captain, it's important to keep yourself and crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. I doubt we will find any other useful rations here in space. Don't forget to keep good inventory of your stock. Unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Ha. Ha. That was a joke. <laughs> Please appreciate it and laugh. Look, we're bonding already. This is bonding. <laughs> I love this computer already. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simply mathematic. Mathematic. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Hmm. Emmett Ellis is flexible. Like, oh wait, his agility is flexible. His intelligence is brilliant, but his strength is very wimpy, so... Hmm. Alright. Tom Thompson is his agility is avri av average. <laughs> his intelligence is clever, and his strength is fit. So that's good. If case we need to fight something, Megan Man. 
is agility is flexible when it comes to agility, and she's quite clever with intelligence, and her strength is average. And then we have April a April Angela <laughs> Angel. I don't know. Uh, agility is flexible, intelligence is average, and strength is fit. I say Emmett should ration the food because I mean, like, he's brilliant, right? He's the smartest out of the people, right? That makes sense to me. Yeah, it doesn't say anybody needs food yet. <laughs> yes, all right. I'm gonna get carry on the day. Fantastic. Good news, Captain. This shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. Three soups. That's pretty good if I do say so myself. <laughs> the routine supply check is now complete. Well, well, look at that. The numbers add up. Good job, human crew. The current number of soup cans on board is nine, plus two. Correction, the accurate tally is actually 11. Additional foodstuffs were delivered to this shuttle, instead of entertainment supplies. Lucky you! I would have loved to have entertainment though. <laughs> I like entertainment, man. I would grow extremely bored in this shuttle though, I think. But I have people to talk to, so I guess that's something. The food you collected is more than sufficient. For now. Just don't eat it all at once. I'm gonna eat it all. <gasps> Captain, the crafting module is... <laughs> the computer starts glitching. <laughs> Captain, the crafting module in the back of the cabin is now available. It's just like the Astro Citizen, Astro Citizen materials said. This modern machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little of bit of min minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. Well! Where is that thing? Oh, there it is! Crafting module! Ah! <laughs> recycle. What can I recycle? I'm, I don't want to recycle anything just yet. But that's cool. I can craft stuff. Alright, that's nice. <laughs> Captain, I told you I started up the crafting system in the back of the shuttle. Did you forget about it? Well, I mean... What am I supposed to do with it? You know, right now, I mean, I can... Fine. I'll recycle one soup. Oh, it's gonna take a, a, a day to do it, I assume. Oh, wait, never mind. Aha, I have some minerals now. I have chemicals. <laughs> Don't know why I would need them, but sure. Oh, main computer, status, make a decision. Oh, shit. Hello there, Captain. Might I ask why you are going through the files? Hmm? You're not really meant to see the contents of my digital storage unit. Huh? Protox? Now that's a fun file. Just please don't... Oh no, what have you done? You shouldn't have ran the program. Protocol X initiated. That's a secret protocol. It was meant to be an experiment. The consequences of initiating the protocol will be severe. Use your skills and do something, Captain. Oh, uh... Well, I guess I'm smart, so I can't really use my strength in this. Please tell me we're gonna survive. We won't die, right? Okay, we're all we're all alive. Oh, he's starting to look handsome. <laughs> Despite your best efforts, you weren't able to stop Protocol X. A, f a fear agent has been released through the ventilation shaft, which is why you thought I and ants are crawling all over the ship. I am terribly sorry about that, Captain. There are a lot of protocols devised by the masterminds behind Astro Citizen program that should never be initiated. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Well, what was I supposed to do? I didn't know that was gonna happen. I'm afraid that your entire crew will need some counseling after this fiasco. And you will too. It's no wonder that your sanity has been shaken. There was no avoiding that, I'm afraid. You are hungry, Captain. Tom is complaining about an empty stomach. Megan is hungry, and April is hungry. Everyone is hungry. Okay, I got it. I will feed you. <laughs> ah, I need to make a decision first. Captain. You've neglected your oral hygiene and haven't brushed your teeth in a while. So, now you need to pull that nasty tooth before it gets worse. Don't worry, it's only going to hurt a little. And there might be a complimentary sticker in it for you. As per protocol, the necessary tools were automatically dispensed. One piece of string and one bottle of anesthetic. It has the Astro Citizen logo and Anesthetic <laughs> hand vision on it. Will you require an assistant? 
for this surgery. I mean, Tom Thompson is pretty strong. <laughs> I bet he can rip it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure I should trust that man, but I'm gonna trust him for now, you know. And I'll feed y'all, of course. Feed. Let's see how painful this will be. Okay, everyone's alive. You took it like a champ. Champ, I meant. <laughs> But a terrified and disgusted Tom went into shock and insisted on drinking the whole bottle of anesthetics to calm his nerves. Uh, Tom? <laughs> when Tom was done, he seemed more lively and nimble than before. I don't think that was regular medicine. Uh, I don't think Tom is alright. <laughs> like, he just drank that stuff and I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so I mean like, Tom? I wanted you to rip out my tooth. I didn't want you to drink anesthetic. <laughs> okay. Captain, I'm detecting some strange energy distortion. Almost as if we're going through a rip ripple in space time. If we're not careful, we may get stuck in a time loop and never. Captain, I'm detecting some strange energy distortion. Almost as if we're going through a ripple in space time. If we're not careful, we may get stuck in a time loop and never. Oh, I get it. Uh. I'll do something with a battery. I bet that'll do something. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm going through the day, you know? It's a lot of spacey stuff. Okay, the battery's fine. Thank goodness for your quick thinking, Captain. That whole de... de... debacle... debacle? May have felt like an hour, but it was actually only 60 seconds. That's not enough time to do much of anything. Overcharging the battery and launching us into a warp speed was exactly what we needed to escape the time loop. Traveling at such great speeds has had a lasting effect on Megan's perception of time. She's moving a little faster now. Right. We found a small metal box in one of the compartments labeled To Cert, Do Open. To Cert, Do Open? Who the heck is Cert? <laughs> You could take apart the lock and gather some elements from it, ignoring what's inside. Or you could try to open it, which would require deft fingers. Which will it be? Ha! <laughs> uh, I don't know if this will require intelligence or if it'll require a foot, also known as agility. I'll take intelligence. That is Emmett's strongest side anyway. Did I do the right thing? You carefully dismantled the lock on the box you found in the shuttle. The box being useless now, you you turned your attention to the parts of the disman disassembled lock. The electronic doodads looked promising, but most turned out to be trash. What a waste of time. You are getting hungry, Captain. Megan is asking for some soup. You got it. I will feed both of you. So you get some soup. And who else was hungry? Ah, hey. Emmett. Yay! <laughs> so, Alright, cool. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them, and more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. <laughs> of course we're blaming the Soviets, why aren't we? Why wouldn't we blame them? <laughs> we need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, our survival depends on it. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? Megan. <laughs> I don't know why, just Megan. <laughs> Megan. Yes. <laughs> so what happens now? First contact. Ooh, goals updated. Check goals sections for details. Don't care. Captain, you need to see... See this. <laughs> Captain, you need to see this. I am not easily excited. <laughs> but this one... But this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI like alike. <laughs> we are not alone in this universe. The signals we in intercepted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. Hmm, that's cool. And no, I do not mean the reds. <laughs> it's something we have never seen before. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them, sooner or later. Or our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. 
One of these digital signatures seems familiar, but the message itself is unclear. Perhaps when we get closer to its source, the transmission will clear up. The source is in outer space, at least a week from our current position. By the way, Captain, you still have to nominate your communications officer. I'd say Megan fits the bill, you agree? It's settled then. From now on, Megan will ensure that you receive some power for the crafting module regularly. As long as she's not disloyal, that is. Ah. Uh, she's loyal! She's smiling! That's nice. And she's comms officer. Alright. Well, that's nice. April's loyal. That's nice. Meh. Captain, we are now entering a field of cosmic gas. Its origin is unknown, but it's also known as your ash. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Though I have a theory. Uh oh, can you smell that? Did someone forget to brush their teeth today? No, it's just that gas leaking inside the shuttle. Somebody could try to isolate some of the gas to use later, avoiding the leak's side effects. I mean, April is very loyal right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. April, you do it. Alright, have a lovely... Did anyone want food? I forgot. Uh, let's see. Tom wants food and April wants food. Got it. So, Tom gets food, April gets food. Go! Aha! Let's see what happens. Ah, April's still smiling. That's fine. April did a great job containing the gas leaking inside the shuttle. She also succeeded in isolating enough of the gas for us to rework it into useful chemicals. Smart! Hey! 25 chemicals! That's pretty good. I bet we can use that somehow. I have no clue how. <laughs> I'm sure you will agree that it's fitting to make April your science officer. Starting tomorrow, April will be producing useful chemicals for you every day. Tom is doing okay, supervise. April is no longer hungry. Well, that's fantastic! Alright, so she's gonna be the science officer. That's nice. She's the comms officer. I'm the science specialist. And I'm resourceful, and Tom is nothing. <laughs> Alright. We only have three soups left. Can I craft soup? I can craft soup! I actually can! Yes! Yes, let's craft some soup! Oh my lord, I did not realize we were gonna run out of soup that quickly. <laughs> I just saw that there were three soups remaining. Alright, okay. That's one soup crafted, and I can craft another soup. There you go. Now there's two soups being crafted. We are experiencing minor technical difficulties, with the communications console, in other words. We are completely deaf and blind. I cannot pinpoint the origin of this malfunction, but I am registering an intensifying tonal signal. Captain, it's a bomb! The countdown will be over soon. Do something, Captain. Uh, I don't have armor and I don't have a gun. I can't do anything! Are we dead? Did I just kill us? I might have just killed us. April thinks of you as a friend! April! You good person. <laughs> right. Wait, wait. Crafting unavailable. System disabled. Please come back later. Have a nice day. <gasps> no! No! 